My automated NADM weekly insights workflow flagged this as the most upvoted Reddit Obsidian post this week, a CSV import feature I'd never tried. So I tested it with AI generated book data. Turns out you can build a complete book tracker with link titles, authors, genres, and book covers in under five minutes. Here's exactly how it works. I run an NADM weekly insights automation that monitors the Obsidian subreddit. It surfaces top insights for Vault Explorer members. And this week, Capano announced that the Obsidian importer now lets you generate markdown files and bases from a CSV. So we know that most people use CSVs to migrate out of other knowledge management apps, but this insight sparked my interest and I decided to experiment with some AI tools in order to import some sample data. If you're starting from scratch, you can quickly generate sample data using AI tools. For this tutorial, I use Claude, though the same approach works with ChatGPT, Obsidian AI tools or similar tools. So the reason I did this was I don't have time to manually type out all my books manually. So I asked Claude to generate a downloadable CSV file with exactly 50 top books using the following column in the exact order. I've just taken these from my book template so that the data is the same as what I already have. I gave it a brief set of formatting rules and once I hit enter, it took about 30 seconds for me to have a CSV download ready to import into Obsidian. So I would say this would work with anything like movies, games, clients, research, projects, whatever data you want to bring into Obsidian. So I've entered my prompt and Claude has generated a CSV file with the top 50 books. It's included my YAML properties that are in my book template. So I just need to download the file. I'm going to use the Obsidian Starter Vault 3 as my test import vault. So here I am inside of my starter vault. I'm going to go up to community plugins and I'm going to search for the importer plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and install the importer community plugin and enable it. Then I'll close and go back to my graph view here. I'm going to hit control P or command P on a Mac, swipe in importer, and then I'm going to open the importer. I need to choose the file format. So I'm going to choose the CSV. So then it's going to ask me the files to import. So I'm going to select choose file and select the top 50 books that Claude created. Now it wants to know where to output the folder. So I'm going to put it in my vault books folder. So I'll just change CSV import to for vault forward slash books. Then I just hit import. Now on this screen, it's going to detect all the YAML properties inside the CSV file by default. All I want to do is put links on my author. So I'm going to put double square brackets, same for genre, and you can do the same for any others if you want. I'll just do a link between the author and the genre. We can get a little preview on the right hand side, and then I'm just going to hit continue, and we can see that it's imported those 50 books. And the graph view in the background has grown. So we'll hit done. Now we can see all the books on the left hand side under Vault Books. So if we just click this one here, we can see we've got 1984 by George Orwell. We've got a link to the author and a link to the genre. It's pulled in all the other data as well as the tag and a link to the cover. Now, the good thing about the importer plugin now is if we scroll down, we can see that we've got a book base as well. So we can click to open the book base and we'll just hide the right pane and also the left pane. And now we can see we have a book base. So from here, what we can do is we can go up to our table and we can click the right arrow, click our three dots, duplicate the view, call this one covers, and we'll change our layout to cards. Then we're going to choose our image property as the cover that was inside the CSV file. And we can adjust the image ratio if we want to make it look bigger or smaller. I think that looks nice. And now we have our 50 books imported into Obsidian with the title, the author, the genre, the year, rating, pages, publisher, ISBN, etc. And if we want to get rid of 
any details, we can remove them here and just have the book covers. Now, if we jump back to the table view, we could also just sort them by genre. And now we have all our books sorted by genre, or we could sort them by the author name. That'll give us all the books written by each author. So this is really powerful. It's a quick way to create a vault without putting in much effort, and you don't need to go fill in all the YAML properties. So I'd encourage you to try it out for yourself. I wouldn't have discovered this without my NADN Obsidian Weekly Insights automation. Every week, NADN scans the Obsidian subreddit and Gemini ranks the top 10 posts for my members, which I send over to my membership site for my Vault Explorers. Then they can easily search through the top trending items on the Obsidian Reddit forum. So I've also put together a weekly Reddit analysis, which can be downloaded as a markdown file. So if we have a look at the markdown file inside of Obsidian, we can see it gives us some quick stats on the total post analyzed, the average score, average comments, and the analysis period, which is the last seven days. We have the top insight for the week, which was the Obsidian importer. And then you can just go down the list and read about other posts that were trending in the Obsidian community. So we've got one here where someone's posted their Obsidian setup. And since then, they've rebuilt and refined it a lot. And here's an updated system that's been keeping my coding and learning organized. And we can go have a read about it if we like. So what this workflow allows me to do is filter out a lot of the noise. I've also got one that sends it directly into my Obsidian Vault. And if you'd like to know how to get your NADM workflows into Obsidian, check out my video I did NADM to Obsidian. I've also considered building a Discord channel because at the moment I send these insights to my own Obsidian Reddit private server. And inside here I can see the top post there. And this also gives me a quick snapshot of the Obsidian Intelligence Report for the week. So I can really just discover what the community is doing and I'm finding it really useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.